Hi YouTube, 2 is 0 FNM back again with another video. Today we are going to look at the Ham Goodies RF Choke. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump on the computer, show you my reasoning for getting this choke. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the choke out of line, so it's just the antenna and a, a runner coax uh, into the shack. We're going to measure the common mode current on the coax and then we're going to put the choke in place and measure the common mode current afterwards and see uh, if it makes any difference or not. So thank you very much for watching. Without further ado, let's begin. Right, so I'm just going to jump on the computer now. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a backstory, um, I did use this choke when I first got my um, antenna installed, which is just something I made with eight turns on two 240 by 43 material ferrites, uh, just eight turns on that, um, and I just used it. So I just assumed I had com common mode current and just put that in as sort of good housekeeping really um, never had any issues really um, I did get a bit of problems on 80 meters but I think that was because the the loading coil was too close to the house so not a big problem I uh, just moved it away from the house a little bit and I've not had any issues since and it was only a slight thing anyway just my little Google device kind of lit up once and that was it but since I've moved it away no problem so yeah just use that choke um, and then I wanted to have a look at getting a proper choke that would be better for 80 and 160 meters. So I looked at ham goodies and this is the choke I bought here. So I paid the extra 12 turns uh, for 160 and 80 meters for an extra two quid. I think it was 51 pound all in uh, that I paid for this choke. Um, so as you can see in the description here, it says uh, 160 to 80 meters. If you intend to use this choke, mostly below 15 megs, we can supply it with 12 turns instead of the usual eight. This gives improved choking performance on the lower bands, but it still can be used across the whole of HF. So that's the reason I went with the 12 turns instead of the eight, is because my main bands are 20, 40, and 80. Um, so. This guy, unfortunately, Silent Key now, G3TXQ. I'll leave a link in the description to this page. He goes into real detail, uh, way past my uh, level here. Uh, but this is some of the reasoning. So my eight turns on RG58 with 240 by 43 uh, was currently giving me... Now, whether this actually doubles these figures, because I've got two toroids on, as I say, I'm not 100% sure. I'm guessing it probably will. Uh, but my eight turns, which is what this is, um, for example, these vertical lines here are the ham bands, basically. So for 80 meters, I would be currently with this choke, be getting one kilo ohms of impedance. Now, whether this doubles and that would be two kilo ohms, I'm not exactly sure. As I say, read this document and you can you can really get in depth with this sort of stuff. So I was getting sort of so let's just say one kilo ohms of impedance on 80 meters. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take all the um, chokes out completely uh, use an MFJ and measure the common mode without any chokes to see if I actually do have common mode and then what I wanted to do is put the ham goodies choke in and see if it actually cured common mode if I did have it but as you can see on this list here uh, on this chart sorry uh, 12 turns of um, RG58 on 2040 by 31 which is what this ham goodies toroid is the 31 material not the 43 uh, you can see the green here, so I'm getting 4 kilo ohms of impedance just on 80 meters, and obviously that covers the same for, um, let me just say, yeah, for 40 meters, and then on 20 meters it's giving me 2 kilo ohms of impedance. So as I say, you can see the chart for itself, um, that's basically my reasoning for getting this choke. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what we did uh, without the... Um, any chokes in place see what common mode if any there is and then we'll put the choke in place and measure the common mode afterwards so good little experiment and uh, let's let's begin right okay so we've tested with the uh, MFJ here so we're getting about 7.5 milliamps uh, of common mode current this is with no chokes in line whatsoever and this is at the transceiver side so we tested it um, at the antenna side and we got about 15 milliamps of current so it's halved it uh, to this point it's probably about um, 30 meters of coax in line so uh, it's lost half of its common mode to this point uh, but this is on 80 meters uh, with 5 watts right okay so now we've put the choke on the transceiver side and we're testing the uh, common mode and is zero so this uh, the choke is definitely working uh, so this is 80 meters on 5 watts so uh, no common mode showing yeah so at the top here we've got the choking line now so we're getting seven and a half milliamps of current 
um, near the antenna. So what I'll do is I'll move it down, down the coax. And then as you can see, the further down we go, the current starts to go. And then as we're getting pretty much close to the, to the choke itself, it takes all the current out. Let me just... Uh, Yeah, see, as we get to that point, we've got no common mode. There we go. Right, so now we've got the ch obviously the choke in place, and it's killed all the common mode. So we don't have any common mode current whatsoever. So uh, it started to lose the common mode towards the choke, and now past the choke, there's absolutely none. So it absolutely killed everything. So we've not got uh, any common mode whatsoever. So this thing has worked, and I did have common mode current. So thank you very much for watching. That was my look at the Ham Goodies RF choke. So as you can see with the video, we did have common mode current and uh, when we put this in place, uh, it completely took the common mode away. So uh, fantastic piece of kit, really, really good. So thank you very much for watching. I've been 2E0FNM. You've been very kind to watch, 7-3.